Welcome to SPIN Training. Today our topic will be Versatim RF. Make sure to visit our website www.aspentech.com for updates on our products. Some information may have changed, so check the latest spec sheet in our website. What is Versatim RF? Versatim RF, a part of the Versa Control family, controls light wirelessly using a remote control. Radio frequency, or RF, is used to communicate between the light fixture and the remote control using 2.4 gigahertz. The remote control also uses wireless charging. Just place it in a wireless roll mount charger and it will automatically charge. What are the features and benefits of Versity RF? Wireless control of on and off, dimming, and CCT if available. Control lights anywhere in the room within a 25 feet range. Does not use the power line for dimming and CCT control. Wireless charging requires both line and neutral wires connected on the wall mount charger to function. There's no need to replace the remote control battery. Dual channel for dimming and CCT tuning if available. Is capable of zoning control. Can pair all the fixtures with Versa Control RF in one room with a single remote control. The remote control pairing limits are to adapter up to four remotes and to remote up to 60 adapters. It is highly secure. No need to worry that your system will be hacked. It has a manual on and off switch on the Walmart charger if this feature is wired. Easy pairing of fixture and remote control. Can have several remote controls as backup. And wall plate is available if customer wants the remote control fixed on the wall. Here are the different products that has Versatim RF. The RF retrofit kits. The Versatim RF is included in each kit and you just have to wire the line and neutral, then pair the remote control to use. The RF LED driver. It has the Versatim RF pre-installed inside the driver. The RF dimmable type B lamp. It has the Versidim RF pre-installed inside the lamp. The RF 0 to 10 volts adapter is paired with a 0 to 10 volts dimmable driver. Contact our inside sales team for product release and availability. Now you will learn how to wire a Versidim RF lamp. You just have to wire them just like type B double end lamp. For this scenario, we have eight Versidim RF lamps, and we will also need the Versidim RF wall charger. We need to connect one end of each lamp all together. They will all then be connected to the red wire of the Versidim RF wall charger. Connect the other end of the lamps all together. They will all then be connected to the white wire of the Versidim RF wall charger. Afterwards, connect them to the neutral of the AC source. Connect the black wire of the Versidim RF wall charger to the line of the AC source. Now the wiring is complete. Do not forget to pair your remote afterwards so it can control your lights using your remote control. In this slide, you will learn how to wire the Versidim RF when using a Versidim RF adapter. The items that we need are 
wall wireless charger Versidim RF adapter and a 0 to 10 volts dimming regular driver both the Versidim RF adapter and the 0 to 10 volts dimming regular driver are placed on the ceiling and wired on the kit or fixture the Versidim RF wall charger is of course placed and wired on the wall Connect the dim minus gray wires of the Versidim RF adapter and regular driver. Connect the dim plus purple wires of the Versidim RF adapter and regular driver. Connect the white output wire of the Versidim RF adapter to the neutral input wire of the regular driver. Connect the red output wire of the Versidim RF adapter to the line input wire of the regular driver. Connect the red output wire of the wall charger to the black input wire of the Versidim RF adapter. Connect the white wire of the Versidim RF wall charger to the white input wire of the Versidim RF adapter. These wires will then be connected to the neutral of the AC source. Connect the black wire of the Versidim RF wall charger to the line of the AC source. Now the wiring is complete. Do not forget to pair your remote control afterwards so you can control your lights using the remote control. Now you will know the parts of the wall mount charger and wireless remote control. Let us start with the wall mount charger which you can find on the left of your screen. It has the on and off manual switch button. This acts like a regular switch. The remote and lights will only function if it is in on position. This button is also important for the pairing procedure. Let us now proceed with the Versidim RF wireless remote control that you can find on your right. Pressing the on button turns on the light. Press the dim up button to increase the brightness. Poking this pinhole will change the CCT or color temperature if the feature is available. Press the dim down button to decrease the brightness. Press the off button to turn off the light. The charging indicator lights indicates that the remote control is being charged by wireless wall charger. Here are the instructions on how to pair your Versidim RF remote control. Make sure that the wall mount charger manual switch is in off position and all fixtures with Versidim RF connected to this switch has lights off. Make sure that the remote control and the fixtures to pair are within 25 feet distance with no obstacles. Press and hold the on and dim up button at the same time on the remote control. Then push the manual switch to turn on on the wall charger. Release the buttons on the remote control once the fixture flashes. And finally, test all the buttons if they are responding properly to all pair fixtures. Make sure to test the on button, the dim up and dim down buttons, and the off button. If CCT tunable feature is available, test the CCT pinhole as well. In this slide, you will know how to use the Versidim RF remote control. Please observe the 2x2 two two panel kit on the left side to see the results when pressing buttons on the remote control. I will now press the on button. I will now continuously press or hold the dim down button.
I will now continuously press or hold the dim up button. If the CCT tuning is available in your light, this is what happens when you poke the pinhole. I will now turn off the light by pressing the off button. Now you know how to use the Versidim RF remote control.